Antidepressant is, you know, one of the most prescribed medications in the community. Up to 1.7 million Australians at any one time are taking an antidepressant. So what I'm trying to do is to look at the genetic factors that determine how we metabolize or respond to a particular medication. So this is what we call pharmacogenetics or pharmacogenomics, the use of genetic information to guide or tailor um, treatment to um, each patient. So this is particularly important in psychiatric treatment because um, most of the time, Treatment is based on trial and error, so often a clinician will choose a medication based on their personal preference or their experience and you know, trial it on the patient for three months. If it does not work, I'm go on to a different medication and trial it for another three months. Up to two thirds of the patients don't achieve remission after first round of therapy. By using pharmacogenomics to guide the selection and the dosing of the first line treatment, um, we are hoping that we can um, maximize the, the chance of remission. So the beauty of, of um, pharmacogenomics is that we can take a mouth swab, um, we can uh, extract DNA from the, the swab and put it through the, the laboratory and we can look at the genetic variants, you know, multiple genetic variants that determine how we metabolize and respond to medications. And with the, the, the genomic technology today, we can look at you know, up to 300 um, medications in one single test. We are two thirds of the way through. We have recorded about 50 patients. Uh, so far, we have seen that up to 50% um, of patients would carry an actionable genetic variant, meaning that that would trigger a change in our prescribing um, consideration.